go to, let me do a new file here. Let's just really quick lay out our E minor diatonic chord progression. Oops. there's no shame in doing that. If you say, okay, I'm in E minor, I wanna just write out all my possible chords, that's totally okay. Don't be afraid to do that. And just use this as a reference when we're looking at the piece. So we're right here. D, F, A. Now let's look at our chord progression. Here's D, F, sharp, A. D, F, sharp, A. And that is seven, that's a major seven. And that's okay in the minor key. That's perfectly allowed. So we're gonna call that seven, capital seven. Uh, right here, D, F, A, still capital seven. That's totally okay. Back to here, C, E, G. Okay, so C, E, G, let's look at our chart here. Here's a C, E, G. What is that? That is, a major six. And that is also totally okay. So we're gonna call that a major six. But we have a little wrinkle here because we have a note out of key right there. So let's make sure this chord is still a major six, which it is. That's still a C major. Now D sharp does not occur in C major, nor does it occur in E minor. So how do we explain that D sharp? Well, we kind of just talked about this in the previous section, right? Um, we can easily explain that by saying it's drawn from the harmonic minor scale, because in E minor, the harmonic minor is going to have a raised seventh, which would be D sharp. D sharp is gonna be the seventh scale degree, and remember we're not talking about chords here, we're talking about scale degrees. So a raised leading tone is what's gonna happen. Uh, so that would be just the pitch D, and we're gonna raise it to a D sharp heading towards that E. So we can explain that with the harmonic minor. We don't need to really do anything different with our analysis here, because we're gonna call that a non-chord tone. Now non-chord tones, um, if you remember, we looked at those in some detail in the last class. Uh, we're gonna look at those again in an upcoming class uh, in more detail, but uh, we introduced those in the last class and they just mean a note in the melody that is not in the chord. And they happen a lot, they happen all over the place. We've seen a few of them already. Uh, let's look at right here. Here's our, our one chord, E, G, and B, and this note, C, is not in that chord, and that's okay. It's a non-chord tone. So we don't need to worry about it too much. Okay, so we're gonna attribute this D sharp to the harmonic minor, that's totally okay. Now let's go here. We have a B, D sharp, and F sharp, and we have another out of key note. B, D sharp, and F sharp. So let's go look at our, our key here. Here's B, D, and F. F sharp, but they've raised the D. And once again, we know how to explain this because we just looked at it. We would explain this with the melodic minor. Okay, so what we would do in the analysis, so first of all, the melodic minor, quick refresher, means we're raising the sixth and seventh tone, scale degree, of the scale. And that is going to be C sharp and D sharp, these two notes, because they're right here also. 